I got a haircut. I put up a new wall, new videos. Let's do this thing. Hello, internet people. Welcome back to my channel. I, if you can't tell, I got a new haircut. And so I thought, what better time to tell you about hair products that I like than today? Let's do it. I have really thin hair, um, or fine. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Like, I have a lot of it, but it's thin. I think that's what that is, maybe. So, I also have a weird cowlick in the back of my head that makes my hair, like, want to grow forward, and it never does good things. It's just, ugh, it's really awful. Today, it's volumized. Like, I have very stick pin straight hair. If I don't blow dry it or put these products I'm going to show you in my hair, it's just like the girl from like the ring, like just like bleh. That's how I look. When people say, oh, I like your hair, I'm like, <laughs> well, there was some time put into this. <laughs> this is not natural. If you saw my hair naturally, you'd be like, wow, that poor girl. <laughs> One of my favorite places to shop for hair stuff is TJ Maxx. You're going to see a lot of TJ Maxx products here because I can pick up brands that I know of um, and they're different things for like five dollars or under which is a lot more affordable than trying new things that I don't know will be so great for the full price so there's a lot of things that I've tried that I don't actually like but TJ Maxx is a great place to pick up hair stuff and try different things if you have thin hair that is very picky and doesn't work with you hopefully some of the products I talk about today will be able to help you and maybe you can pick them up so these are just my tips of products that I've been using that work well for me, so let's get into it. So starting with what I use in the shower, I use the Moroccan Oil um, Extra Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. My stylist at my old salon recommended this to me because I was using the Moroccan Oil in my hair, and she said these would also be a great addition to that. And now that I use these regularly, I don't have to use as much oil. They give me volume, they are super hydrating, and they also leave my hair feeling smooth which I've used other volumizing, thickening shampoo and conditioner, and they kind of just leave your hair like, like matted and just really hard to untangle, especially, maybe that's just in my hair. The first time I bought them, I was shocked by the price, because one's 25, I believe, and one's 27, which is a lot of money. But if you compare how much use you can get out of these, because they're highly concentrated, to a regular just like Garnier or Herbal Essence that you could just pick up at Target or whatever, you get the same amount. You need a tiny little bit of this and it goes a long way. The shampoo lasts me about four to six months, which is a long time. So you really don't need much. These are my favorite. I highly recommend them if you have hair like mine and it feels coarse and not nice. These really smooth it out and make your hair feel super volumized and hydrated and oh, they're really nice. They smell good too. So after I get out of the shower, I use an oil and I've been using this one. I got it at no other than TJ Maxx. It is the Argan Magic Intensive Hair Oil. And I've been using my shampoo and conditioner, so I don't need to use that much oil anymore. And so I kind of weaned off the Moroccan oil because it's a lot of money. <laughs> and this one's only $9.99. So as I was saying, I like to try stuff and I got this one. This is my second repurchase of it. Who knows though if it'll be at TJ Maxx the next time I need hair oil. One of the wonderful cons and pros of TJ Maxx, you never know what you're gonna get there. And so I've been using this one and I just put it on the ends of my hair after I shower. It says it reduces blow drying and styling time. I don't know, it, it, it makes my hair feel nice. I can easily brush through it and it just feels softer at the ends and more manageable. So yeah, I really like this. If you haven't tried an oil before in your hair, I know it sounds scary, but it's very lightweight like the Moroccan oil this one is. And you can't really feel that you put anything in your hair. It just feels softer and silkier and easier to work with. So. I would highly recommend trying an oil in your hair. If your hair is dry or just hard to comb through, this will really help with that. So this might sound crazy, and I don't use them all um, the same day, but I have four products that I use interchangeably after I shower. I just kind of change it up whatever I'm feeling for that day. So one of them is the Not Your Mother's uh, Texturizing Spray. I've used a sea salt texturizing spray for quite a few years now, and I love what it does to my hair. It gives me a little bit of grit that my hair, because it's so fine, doesn't naturally have. This one's from Target, and you can get it for pretty cheap. It's not, you know, a crazy salon brand or anything. And so, Beach Babe Texturizing Spray, it's good. Gives yourself a little texture if you have, like, extremely fine, thin hair that has none of that. This will help you out. Next one I have, I also got TJ Maxx for $9.99. It is the Chi Volume Booster liquid botifying glaze. You just spray it in your hair is damp. It gives it a little bit more volume when you blow dry. Now, the last two are ones I alternate between. Um, if I have one 
I and I find the other one, I'll use the other one up. So I'm using right now the Big Sexy Hair Root Plump, nope, Root Pump Plus. Wow, tongue twister. Root Pump Plus. And I got this one at TJ Maxx too. It was $12.99, which in comparison to other where you'd buy it, this would be about $20. And I just lift up my roots, spray it in, and then kind of try to get it all over before I blow dry. So with damp hair too. So I like this one, uh, Root Pump Plus by Big Sexy Hair. I mean, if it's called Big Sexy Hair, I'm going to like it. The one I alternate it with is the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. I don't know if they do the same thing. They basically do the same thing. This one's a volumizing gel, and that one's a volumizing mousse. It's like a gel, so you put, pump it into your hands and just kind of like get into your roots, and it does good things. I really like this one. I didn't get this at TJ Maxx. I think it was $5 at Target. Now the next products are ones that I use after I finish blow drying my hair. And we have to start with this one, Batiste. Batiste? Uh, I think it's Batiste. And it's just dry shampoo. I go through a bottle of this so quick. In no time at all, probably one a month, maybe, maybe less than that. I love these. It gives my hair exactly that kind of texture and like lift that I love in my hair. And so, um, guess where I got this one at? TJ Maxx, $5.99. If you're not using this dry shampoo, change that. It's amazing. It's so good. I love it so much. Favorite hair product of all time. The next product is something I've recommended a lot. It is Powder Play by Big Sexy Hair. Uh, you can get a powder like this from tons of different brands, but this is one I've been using for a while because it's not as expensive as those high-end ones. But yeah, they come like this, they're usually small, and it's kind of like a baby powder texture, but it is hair crack. It makes your hair just do amazing things and stay like that all day. You really don't need much of this. A little bit goes a really long way. If you have thin, fine hair and you wanna get some volume in it when you back comb, because I know people will back comb who have thin hair and it will just fall, which if you want to get that back comb and for it to stay if you have thin hair, you need something like this. Highly, highly recommend trying one of these. The last product I have to talk about is hairspray, of course. I've been using this one for a long time. It's the Aussie Awesome Volume Hairspray. As you can tell, there's quite a theme in my hair products that they're just all volumizing. If it has the word volume on it, I will buy it. This one also has a really maximum hold, which is good for my hair because it is thin and fine and just will fly and get in my face like it is now. So if I use this, it will hold its shape and uh, stay volumized. Aussie, awesome volume, party party. That's all the hair products I have to show you today. I hope that this wasn't too long and boring. If you have hair like mine, I hope that you can also go out and try some of these. Let me know how they work for you. And if you use other good hair products, let me know in the comments down below because I'll probably go buy it. That is how much I love hair stuff. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Help me get an A in this class. Also subscribe so you can be notified when I make new videos and click on the link so you can go watch my past video where I talk about my ADHD. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Bye!